YouTube is the largest video platform on the internet. If your news organization tells stories in video or wants to get started, you're probably interested in how your publication can succeed on the platform and reach some of its billions of users. I'm Shweta Bhandari from the Google News Initiative. This video is part of a series that aims to demystify Google technology for news publishers. If you enjoy this video, please take a look at our others on Google Search, Google Analytics, and Google's Ads products. But in this video, we're focusing on YouTube. We're going to walk you through some of the most common questions we get asked. Questions like, where does news appear on YouTube? Which video formats for news perform best? And how can our news organizations make money on YouTube? Plus, we will share some tips that we've seen work with other news organizations and links to more resources in case you want to explore YouTube further. Let's get started. So, where does news live on YouTube? Well, YouTube elevates news videos in a few different places, making it easier for users to discover news that's relevant to them. First, there's breaking news on the YouTube homepage. When there's a significant news event, the breaking news shelf appears on the YouTube homepage, except for users under the age of 18, and can be found by scrolling down the YouTube homepage. The developing news panel provides breaking news context above relevant search results, including text-based snippets from a news article. The second place users will find news is on the top news shelf on the search page. The top news shelf is there to help audiences proactively looking for news by connecting them with authoritative information. This feature means news channels can reach audiences interested in learning about specific topics and YouTube can raise the most relevant and reliable results. A top news shelf may also appear on the homepage if a viewer regularly watches news content. Great. So now you know where users can find news on YouTube. But how do news videos get there in the first place? In its simplest form, this is a five-step process. One, your news organization creates a YouTube channel under your name. Two, you upload a video file from your computer or mobile device. Three, you add your metadata descriptive details to help people find your video. Four, the YouTube search and discovery algorithm works to match viewers to the videos they're most likely to watch and enjoy. So people watch your video and then five, fans come back and subscribe. If you want to monetize your videos with ads, check your page for copyright and ad suitability. You can do this during the uploading of your video. So that five step process is relatively simple, but as I'm sure you're aware, there's a lot more to being successful on YouTube than uploading videos. So now we're going to tackle some of the most common questions we get and share some strategies that have worked for other news organizations. Frequently asked question number one, which types of news videos do viewers watch the most on YouTube? Okay, so while there is no one perfect format or topic for news on YouTube, we can offer an insight into a few of the most popular kinds of news video. First of all, explainer videos. These videos are concise and straight to the point. They explain a particular topic to the viewer using simple, compelling storytelling and attention-catching, easy-to-follow visuals. We then have news analysis and news roundup videos. News analysis videos provide commentary and context to help the viewer gain a more in-depth understanding of news events. News roundup videos, on the other hand, tend to be more compact, collating the week's headlines into a bite-sized summary that is easy to digest on the go. There's also shorts. Shorts are a great way to experiment with your storytelling style all in under 60 seconds. They let news organizations connect with and discover new audiences through mobile journalism in a way that feels both personal and engaging. You can create a short using just a smartphone and the YouTube Shorts camera in the YouTube app. To get started creating your very own YouTube Shorts, check out the YouTube Help Center guide linked below this video. Next, we have podcasts. YouTube has played a significant role in the evolution of podcasting beyond its audio-only roots into a richer experience through video. Now, by leveraging the platform's global reach and powerful search and discovery tools, news organizations have another way to grow their podcasting audience and generate revenue through ads, channel memberships, and more. And finally, of course, there's live coverage. 
YouTube allows news channels to go live to their viewers. From breaking news to interviews to special events coverage, reporting news live on YouTube is an impactful way to connect and engage your audience, building rapport and bringing viewers together to learn, discuss and follow along in real time. Okay, let's move on to frequently asked question number two. How do I set up my YouTube channel effectively? As consumers yourselves, you'll understand that the design of your channel is crucial. So here are a few pointers for making the most of your space. First of all, you want to keep your channel homepage fresh and relevant. Take the Vox video channel for example. They've reached more than 10 million subscribers with their homepage. It can be a good idea to create a trailer to let audiences know who you are and why they should be subscribing to your channel. Act under the assumption that the viewer has never heard of you. Keep it short, let them know what your content's like and when they can expect new uploads. Then ask viewers to subscribe, keeping the focus on building your following. Make sure your channel is organized. You can use playlists to sort your content by topic and create shelves on your channel homepage, making it user-friendly and easy on the eye. Pro tip, your channel dashboard in YouTube Studio is there to help you better understand your audience and channel performance. So make sure you take advantage of the information YouTube is gathering for you. Finally, the all important question. Frequently asked question number three, how can my news organization make money on YouTube? The most common source of revenue for news organizations on YouTube is advertising. YouTube sells, serves and targets ads, but it's the video creators that decide on the ad formats they want served on their videos. There are a number of different ad formats, skippable ads, non-skippable ads, display ads alongside the video player and in-video text ads across the player. In order to optimize revenue opportunities, we recommend enabling all ad formats on your monetizable videos. Remember, to earn money from advertising on their videos and live streams, news organizations must first be eligible for the YouTube Partner Program or YPP. You can find out more about YPP by clicking the link below. So, beyond ads, what other ways are there to monetize your YouTube channel? Super Thanks enables creators to receive payment from their fans as a sign of gratitude for the videos they produce. Fans can contribute $2, $5, $10 or $50 per video and share a comment for the creator to see. To get started with Super Thanks, visit the YouTube Studio dashboard and select Monetization in the Navigation panel. Once you're on the channel Monetization page, click the Supers tab and turn on Super Thanks. It's important to note that creators received 70% of the Super Thanks total collected in AdSense. There are also channel memberships that allow viewers to become exclusive members on your channel through monthly payments. In return, they get members-only perks like badges, emojis, access to special community posts, and other exclusive benefits that a creator can select. Again, creators receive 70% of membership revenue after taxes and fees are deducted. If you're in the US and have at least 25,000 followers, you can also take advantage of Brand Connect, which makes it easier for creators to match with advertisers and develop branded content that is both authentic and effective. And last but not least, you can generate revenue by selling branded merchandise on YouTube through the YouTube Shopping feature. YouTube Shopping enables creators to set up and connect their stores to YouTube and feature their own products like merchandise and videos and live streams. To get started with YouTube shopping, you'll need at least 1,000 subscribers, be based in a country where the YouTube Partner Program is available, and have a channel that has been approved for monetization. For more information, check out the guide linked below this video. Pro tip, if you're in the YouTube Partner Program, check out the advertiser-friendly content guidelines in the Help Center to better understand which videos on your channel are suitable for advertisers. Let's round up this video with some advice about practices that we've seen help other news organizations succeed on YouTube. Number one, content packaging is critical. There are several aspects to packaging your video beyond the footage itself. You want a clear, accurate, and succinct title. You want a high resolution thumbnail image, perhaps adding your own logo onto that image. And you want a concise description. Two first lines that pull the viewer in. Best practice tip number two, upload both the full versions and the clips from important interviews. If you record an interview, think about the different ways you could present this content. We've seen an appetite from YouTube users for both the highlights 
and the in-depth interview. So why not give them both and add value for both appetites? Finally, best practice tip number three, ask your audience for input and feedback. Use the interactive potential of digital to your advantage and ask your audience's input. This way, the audience feels they're part of what your channel is doing and you reap the rewards of direct feedback and community building. Successful creators on YouTube are those that really engage with your audience. They do this by responding to comments and asking audience members to make suggestions for future videos. It may sound time consuming, but by taking these steps, you'll make sure your audience feel listened to and included in the conversation. For more inspiration on how other brands are innovating on YouTube, especially from a marketing perspective, you can find YouTube case studies at news.youtube. We hope this video has been helpful, but it's just an introduction. In the description below, you'll find links to a wealth of resources to help you take your next steps. Take a look at our other videos on making the most of other Google products. Thank you and goodbye for now.